Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't chill on it. Oh, that's whoa. Tim Curry as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Oh! I'm pretty sure. Wait, does he dance? Um, I think that's just his name. But, I mean, oh. maybe. I, does he dance in the other... You watched it in the theater. I did, and uh, it made me weep like a child. Um, not Pretty scary, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I watched the first one with Kat. It was like one of our first dates, and she was like, I want to go see it because I like scary movies. And I went, okay, because I wanted her to like me. Uh, yeah. And it, I, I lived, I made it, but then when I saw part two, uh, I just, I went out into the parking lot. Uh, I think I, I, I got in my car and I just cried. I just couldn't stop crying. It was, I I was going through some stuff at the time, but also it was just, you know, it gets you right into everything. So. Oh, well, anyway, let's transition to something happier. (laughs) Let's go through some, let's crash some castles. (laughs) You ready to go? Or no, you count us in. I love when you count us in. Okay. First, let's do this as a callback. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, castle crashes. Come crash my castle. Castle crashes. You got me hopping and a bleeding, hopping and a bleeding, Castle Crashers. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, everybody, welcome to Pete Plays. This is Patrick, your co-host, and uh, I'm flying with Pilot Major Peter, and here we go. Yep. Let's go crash some castles. This is ground control to Pilot Major Peter. Full moon, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, so, so there's a very... Oh, no, 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 you go. You're the oh. guest. Oh, this is this is just a very quick aside. My yeah. my nephew's a very like talkative little dude who um, knows a lot about the moon. He's like three years old, and it's very strange that he's very into the moon. But one time he was like looking out at the sky, and he said, "It's gonna be a full moon." And he said it in this like tiny voice. This was when he was like eighteen months old or something. Wow. Uh, something like he was very very like young, very talkative, and none of us paid any attention to him. And then he like slapped his spoon down on the table and like said. Like very dramatically, it's gonna be a full moon. As if like he needed to, like sort of annoyed that none of the adults had listened to him. Anyway, uh, we were we were we were chat. I think you were gonna bring up that we were chatting pen pen pancre- pancreas last time. Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon that is. Uh. I uh, I you? couldn't think of anything funny to say, and then uh, I couldn't think of anything funny to say about the fact that I couldn't think of anything funny to say, uh, and then I just didn't make any sound at all because that's how you make a good television show. Um, <laughs> that's a good. Show. Don't you throw my friend? Oh gosh, this Bigums is just being a real trombone right now. If you if you know what I'm saying. I do. I think. Oh well, um, I missed. <laughs> he missed. Oh, he fell. Um, yeah, we were talking Pochamons and uh, which Pochamon we would want to poach uh, for its fur. No, that's unethical. Oh, no. Uh, we were talking about who we're going to have in our final team. What kind of yeah. fancy Jones uh, we're going to have. And uh, I think you should go first this time. Oh, you're very sweet. Because uh, we, we got our first. Let's recap our uh, recap for me your first three. Just real quick. Yeah, yeah. Alike. And I, I honestly think that these first three are the more interesting ones because they're the ones that you sort of, I sort of choose throughout the game for a reason that's more compelling and just that I like them. Uh, I always carry an Electrode. I always carry a Snorlax. And I always carry a Golob. Those are my, my th- three of my final six. Nice. What about you, Pete? Um, yeah, Pete I got plays. a, uh, I've got a Pidgey. Well, that, you know, becomes a, a biggie. Um... Mm-hmm. 
I have a, 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 a Vaporeon. And um, I think I said I wanted to, uh, I was really intrigued by the idea of, um, help me out. I forgot the thing I said I liked. What did I like? Uh, so I know that you wanted to do a... Uh, oh, a Duck Trio. Jesus, that's right. A yeah. and a Duck Trio. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, which, I mean, honestly is a, a weird sounding team so far, but I like it. I like that they're underdogs. Um, I think that it's a quite a well-rounded team, honestly, because you have a flying type, uh, you have water type, you have a ground uh, and rock type. I like well-rounded teams. So, so far you're firing on all cylinders, baby. Well, you got to tell me about cylinder number four. Ready, right. here we go. I always, always, always chose as my starter Pokemon Bulbasaur, and I could never take Bulbasaur out of my team. So I had Venusaur in my party uh, with the I guess the Elite Four every game. Yeah. Pokemon Red. Uh, and I don't feel too badly about that because the starters actually turn out pretty well by the end of the, the game. Yeah. Uh, especially because you've had them the whole time, you've been fighting, be, like at really high levels, so their stats are pretty high. Um, but I always had a Venusaur with moves like. Uh, I think I, I keep Vine Whip generally. Um, yeah, Vine Whip's a good it. move. Uh, I'm getting the sense. I'm getting the sense that it's yeah. a uh, it's a strong choice. Yeah. Um, and I would have it learn um, again a move called Razor Leap, which is probably yeah one of the yeah one of the cooler Pokemon animations I think in that gen. And a move called I think there was one where it like char it charges sunlight. And then it releases it the next turn. Oh, Sunny um, Day. I, is that Sunny yeah, Day? That sounds right. Yeah, that think, sounds right. I think so. I can't exactly remember, but that sounds right. The the, the downside with moves that take a turn to charge are, well... They, they take, take a turn to charge. To charge. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes by the end game, you're like one-shotting things anyway, so the turn is actually more important than... You just use Razor Leaf or Vine Weapon and it does basically the same thing. Yeah. Um, so, I love me some Venusaur. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know who you're... If, of the three, if you had to choose one, who would you choose? You take that. Oh, I, I think I took it. Did oh, I? it's okay. You deserve it. Oh, well, <laughs> no. Uh, do, wait, to ask the question again, if you would. Of the three starters, who who would you choose? Um, you got Pikachu this time. It seems like you're going to get all three this time in, in yellow. I think i got to go with uh, Squirtle. I, um, nice. some about I know. I mean, I know. I already said I had a Vaporeon. I don't know that they would be in my final team, but among those three, I would yeah, yeah, I would I choose you. to have uh, gotcha. Squirtle. But if if I had to have one of them on my final team, I, I think it would just be Charizard. In the same way that like, who do I want on my FF FF six party? Well, I want Edgar because he's got the you know the drill. And the, the uh. chainsaw, right? Like that kind of thing. Not and not in like a cynical way. It's just like, dude, it's clearly an awesome like thing to have. So like, you know, don't not have it just because it's you think it's too cool for school or whatever, right? Yeah. Um. Oh my goodness. Uh. There's yeah. A lot of dudes here. All right. Tell tell me. All right. Okay. So I told you I got a a good old Venusaur coming up at my number four slot. Who who you got? Who's next? Oh boy. Um. I, don't, I want I want to have like just a, a really kind of just odd one and uh, for some reason I, I I can't wait to find a farfetched I don't uh. know anything about farfetched other than farfetched is a duck with a holding a green onion um, yeah uh, is farfetched Psychic type, bird type. I don't even know. What do, what do you think? I just want like a oh, yeah. weird. I want one member of my six that's gonna make people go, huh? Like that's I because I think that's fun when you do that. It it just yeah. it's a good time, you know. Um, tell oh, me, do you, do you know anything about far fetched? Off top of your that brain, far fetched. I, th I think that far fetched can learn certain like swordy, cutty kind of moves because Ooh. of the, that like read. In its mouth. Oh, um, it becomes uh, almost like a like a. Um, it's like a weapon. Like a katana of sure. sorts. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure it can learn like slashy moves later. Excellent. Um, I would. I don't know if Farfetch'd evolves ever. I, I don't. Remember. I don't. Re I don't think there's an evolution. Um, from what I from what I recall. I kind of prefer it that way for you. Um. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if you're gonna do like a sort of all bird team. 
I would. Guys. You know what? I. Oh, okay. So if I did an all all bird team, just real quick, who am I gonna replace? Doug Trio and um, um, Vaporeon with? Um, I think. I, I don't know. Is there like a ground bird? Did that even make no, sense to say? So I think that you could, I, I like, if I were to just say like, okay, these birds would give you a pretty sweet chance of victory. You could just get the three legendary birds, and each one of them oh, yeah. is going to be the best, like a rock star. Um, so while it wouldn't replace Doug Trio, right? Like, I, I think that some of the same sorts of weaknesses could be exploited with any of those three. Um, like Vaporeon could easily be replaced with Arctic. Because they both know, like water and ice type moves tend to have similar. Similar, yeah, pieces. yeah. Um, and plus, like instead of basically Zapdos would replace your your Raichu, Pikachu, and Moltres is a pretty decent Firebird. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, that and that would, you could use any of those, but they're also more interesting birds. Like you could use Pidgey and Farfetch'd, and then like Psyduck or something. And you have a oh yes, that would rule to have a Psyduck because it, it's yeah. it's. It like fulfills the I like birds, but is yeah, yeah. not like a flying type. Yeah, uh, yeah. I like that. And I, I'm trying to, I'm wondering, um, is there like a pretty big difference between the, um, like when you get, when when Spiro turns into Firo, do you get like a different kind of like move set than you would from like, um, from like a P Pidgeot, right? Like, yeah. Does does Firo and this is just something I just you know don't know, um, like does Firo end up like oh he can do like more like uh, like I don't know like different types of moves because I know there's a difference between like slashing moves and like pounding moves or, or stuff like that like they do damage differently or something like that or maybe that's like a later uh, generation thing I, but I don't know maybe I can't remember. Um, it's not that that doesn't that isn't the case. I just don't remember it. Yeah. Um, anyway, there you go. That was my sort of like B team, I guess, or weird team. But yeah. yeah anyway, um, far fetched. I want to. I want to. I want to get far fetched and do weird things with them. Yeah. yeah. Do do those things. <laughs> that uh, Stephen. Uh, uh, <laughs> Stephen's at the lunch. Anyway. Um, <laughs> that dude is oh, he's never still around there. anymore. Yeah. What's it, Stephen? What do you do, Stephen? You're fired. Um, you know, I've always wanted to use it uh, to have in a team uh, Mr. Mime, even though like it's a very strange Pokemon. I, I always wanted to have a team where that he was a part of it. Um, he's just a weird Pokemon that I always thought was like a very strange design, very like strange thing that I had to accept. Like, oh yeah, that's basically a creature. Um, <laughs> you know, that's like a, a thing that exists. Thing. Yeah, and in, in this world, I remember when I very first heard about Pokemon, I got a bunch of stickers. And they were like giving them out of Walmart or something. And Mr. Mime was one of the stickers I got. And I was like, really? That's one of the things? And yes, it is uh, one of the things in the game. So I just wanted to, 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 um, to like use him. But I remember in Red and Blue, anyway, you could only get Mr. Mime by uh, trade. And you could only get Mr. Mime by trade with like this one particular character in the game. You had to like trade oh. it a tank, like a Tangela or something. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, my my fifth is generally Articuno. I always wanted a nice. flying type to my team. Love it. He's my it. favorite legendary bird. Um, I also already had an electric type of electrode, and I didn't like to double up types. Yeah, so you didn't and exactly. also I just yeah, and I just didn't care too much about fire types. Um, as I said earlier, so I loved Articuno. There aren't that many like killer ice moves, but Ice Beam Blizzard uh, wipes out most of the Dragon Trainer like without much effort. So I really loved the legendary bird thing in uh, the original Pokemon. I love that. In the, the, in the second gen, they try, they they did a similar thing with cats. There were these legendary cats. What? And the thing, yeah, yeah. That's um, awesome. Like, and they had a different like uh, mechanic. So you would run into them, I think at random. Um, like, you, sort of the you way you do with tell cats. When, yeah, just like you do with real life cats. <laughs> You're just like, oh, and they're sort of merc cat. they're mercurial, like real life cats. They like want to hang out with you for one second, and then they run away. So, like, <laughs> I think the thing was, um, you had to you you had to try to like their I think their health carried over, so you'd run into them at random, but they'd run away pretty quickly. So you'd have to find a way to 
take them down, stun them or something, and capture them. Otherwise, you just have to kind of... I think there's a way to track them, too, but I, I don't remember any of that directly offhand. But um, anyway, they had similar things in the second gen. But yeah, Articuno. I love Articuno. Who's going to be your fifth? Well, that's really interesting because I am really intrigued by Persian. Um, mm. It seems like Meowth seems kind of annoying, but I think that might be a prejudice from the television show. And like, I never watched the TV show that much, um, but my little brother was super into it. But all I remember is like, man, Meowth is kind of a jerk because he hangs out with Team Rocket, who yeah. in some ways, I feel like maybe they were just misunderstood. And also there's like a really yeah. funny um, sort of... Uh, propensity for the internet now to see team rocket as like um like basically two awesomely fabulous like gays um that uh, they love now uh, and and i kind of like that i like this idea of like they're not really bad they're just sort of like in this kind of competitive relationship that gets sort of viewed as bad by the viewer but if you go inside the universe it's really all in good fun um yeah, yeah. i'm into that and that i got it for that are these good do we love them? what are you Oh, here's a, here's a Penguano. Penguano. Penguano oh, is wow. definitely a Pokemon that ever was. Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I'd go with Persian. Um, just like cool and also um, has like slashing uh, kind of moves that I think are really neat. Um, yeah, not not payday. sure. Payday. Oh, yeah. Payday is nice for, uh, you know, because I'm the kind of person that's just going to cheese it and buy a bajillion potions. Yeah. Um, and yeah. just kind of grind because if if you remember from several years ago the my ff4 final dungeon run i basically bought just like hundreds of small potions and then just use them after every battle um yeah. which you know is one way to get it done so yeah yeah it works man uh so anyway persian, persian that's cool i like that um, where are we going Hello? now Hello? Go. oh wait do we maybe use the... Oh, hey, you got an animal. I did. I did. Oh, we, oh, we oh I yeah. see. Oh, we go here okay. and we use it. Oh, okay. Ooh, on, oh, on. what is going on? Whee! Ah, ah, oh, okay. the, the floor is... The floor is slippery. lava. Jiminy Christmas! No, I, uh, uh, what do I have? What is this? I thing? didn't mean to do that. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this. I apologize. I think I have, like, one more potion. Yeah, me too. Oh, Let's my god. Yep. One more. I have one two. More. That's it. Oh, you're so, going to have to do me. this. Oh, as Tough long as boys. we just, just run. run. Oh, yeah. If we run like oh, fast yeah. That's boys. a classic platformer. Let's just do it. Oh, uh, we should have run together. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. What? Oh, man. I don't like that guy even a little bit. I'm going to beat up his uh, door. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. I just... Screw you. I hope that you have a draft. You get in <laughs> Yeah, a military um, draft. Ooh, that was dark. Uh, I don't feel good about that. It really I'm, was. It really was. I'm sorry. I don't feel good about that. I, I would yeah, like to uh, formally uh, apologize. Shield. Shield. Oh, how do you do um, shield? It's okay. It's, uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, I figured it out. So um, very very quickly, my sixth is Mewtwo. I always kept Mewtwo. Oh, really? That's neat. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. so is it? it's Mewtwo. Um, it's Mewtwo that um, is the one that you can get, but Mew is the one that you don't get because Mew is just like in the show or something, right? That's yeah, that's Mew the was, um, the glitch one. Mew, yeah, Mew was a uh, promotional event only Pokemon. Um, I actually managed to get a hold of one um, through like a series of like. Just, I don't know, if, in my, so my gold copy at home, if it's still running, I think they have like these internal clocks that eventually die, um, but I, I have the games, a you mean? particular cartridge. Yeah, oh. yeah, I think they had like a weird like internal clock of some sort that, that eventually died, but I had a Mew in my, my gold. That's um, amazing. Yeah, so I really loved it. It had um, wild stats and it could learn any TN, any gen. Wow, because the idea um, is that anyway, like Mewtwo is is like created in a lab or something, right? Yeah, yeah. So Mewtwo, I think, in Gen One has the best stats of any, and it's Psychic, which is a pretty strong type anyway. So, yeah, Psychic um, is strong against most types, right? That's a pretty toughy boy. Yeah, and Mewtwo is just also very tough. So I, I enjoyed it. Okay, tell me now what your number six is. Give it to me. Oh man. Um. Yeah. 
I think I gotta go with some kind of. Whoa! Okay, this guy. I think this guy's a little tough. And I, I feel like my ice sickles are not gonna be particularly useful against him. They did six damage. That's not a ton of damage. He might be a little bit weaker okay, than physical. He's gonna damage. go junk. Oh, man. I wonder if we just need to like rush him and punch him. Okay, there. And then he's gonna go. And then he's probably gonna. Oh, he's doing something. Oh man. Well, I punched him in the leg. Oh man. He's it's it's that sort of like. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, that ruled what you did right there. That did a yeah, I sort mega of like, chunk. I sort of am just like using the, my little like shocker buzzer on his backside when he's not looking. That was a good head? one. Oh! Shield, maybe? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I don't like this. Whoa, guy. whoa, whoa! Okay, I think we're doing okay. Yeah, I've seen worse. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Just stay in the air on this one, and I can manage to stay in the air because I can do my infinite dagger. Uh oh. I'm so sorry. I know that we're folks. Did you say your six level minor? No, minor I did. Before? I think I was thinking I wanted some sort of dragon, and I I think I um. I think I like, is it Dratini? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dragonair, Dragonite. Dragonite. I, I couldn't remember if Dragonair or Dragonite was the last one, but I think I, I think I like Dragonite. It just seems cool. Um, again, I for someone who probably knows lots um, about, um, ow, who, who probably knows a lot about like types and movesets and things, that may seem like a silly team, but I'm just going for like, hey, what sounds fun? Um, that's kind of just my whole... Oh. Like, like, what Pokemon do I think sound really cool? Um, and I, it'll I, probably I'm change down, the man. more I play the game. Um, I think it'll it'll just keep... It'll keep changing because I will keep being like, whoa, that is a really cool one, right? Like, I never in a million years would have thought Doug Trio was going to be one of those. Yeah, yeah, But Doug Trio has come in and, like, filled a particular need that you maybe didn't even know that you had, and... Um, I, I like the team, and who, I mean, what is Pete plays if not a fun time? So you pick that team, baby. Yeah, tell me your, oh, you did tell me your sixth. You oh, gave me all six of them, yeah. No, I was thinking, I, that was, some, tell me, tell me a seventh. If you, if okay, you could, oh, I, I, tell me a seventh one, but it has to be one that you made up, but don't tell me that you made it up, and I'll see how believable it is. Okay, so, but you, now you know that I'm making it up? Shh, shh, shh. Um, no, no, no. Just, it's fine. Just go with it. Just go. Um, Fran, uh, this is the on. worst. <laughs> I know. I this am so, so stressed. Cool. Um, um, Frank, uh, Frank, Frangle Oh, Frangle T. Yeah, yeah. Frangle T is a um, a um, uh, uh, foil, oh, foil right, type. Woo! Yes. Foil type Pokemon. You're oh. gonna die, right? Oh, he had a rough. Oh, that's quite horrifying. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. Poke it. Punch you. Are we gonna have to <gasps> play the princess, buddy? Oh, let's get these gems. Let's get this bread. Oh no, it's just gonna be get gem time, um, which is different than get gym time, um, because gym time. Oh, how, let's cut her down. Oh, we did it. Mm. No, I don't want to fight you. They I, always do. I, can't, I will not I fight to you, shoot father. Her. And I can't do anything to her. I would rather, like, just... Well, and do I really there it is. This is embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that the end of, that's the end of the game. <laughs> and that, that's it. We beat the game. Yeah. Lest, um... Lest anyone were to uh, think that we were simply um, doing this to just... Whoa, I did, like, a mid-air wow, move. Cool. I figured that one out. Yeah, you did. 
Um, yeah, if somebody's watching, like, oh, they're just pretending to fight. That's why they're missing each other. It's like that episode of uh, Goof Troop, the television show, where Max and Goofy pretend to be bad at spelling so that they can lose <laughs> the spelling bee to each other. But then Goofy accidentally wins the spelling bee by spelling I, because when he was about to oh. spell the word I, um, uh, something hit him and he went, I, and then he won. Oh yeah. Sometimes you well, remember that's, that's, really strange things. The thing that I thought about was the scene in Arrested Development where George Senior and Oscar like just try to get into a fist fight, but since they're twins, they have like identical fighting patterns or something, um, and they they like block each other's moves. Like, <laughs> um, I'm right there with you. I did you not used to, you used a potion. I didn't mean to. I genuinely didn't. I was trying to use my little arrow, and I. Uh, was still on potion land. So you just, yeah, yeah, keep doing this. Ooh, yeah, ooh, oh, that's so good. Come on. Do it again, do it again. Come on, babe, and make it hurt so good. Sometimes drugs, do wait, that's not it. Sometimes yeah, what bugs. <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 that's, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, now. We okay. are equal. We are, we are equal. Right, I'm gonna start over here, and we're gonna charge at each other. Okay, you ready? Okay, ready, go ready? to the other ready? Go. Yeah! yeah! Oh, it's sort of like in samurai uh, era fighting. He craven. Ah. I'm a throwing the maven the even. Oh, I what? I said ninja, but I meant Jerry. Well, I'm dead now. Go, go get the get the princess. Oh, how did I beat you? You crunched me so many times. I love you. Oh, 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 cat. There we go. How did we do? How did we do? It's, that's crashes, not. Right. You have to ask Stephen if that's okay. Uh, Steven, uh, is fired. No! No, <laughs> not, not here, that poor intern. Oh, man. No arena that we won't ever use. Hey, right, you never uh, know. Let's see. Oh, but dude, you got, you got so much experience that time. Uh, you really... I'm just gonna keep upping my mat. ...carried the weight there. Oh, oh strong. Um, uh, excellent. Strong. I need one more point, and then I You're can have another... The biggest magic mm. boy. Um... Oh, yeah. I think I need to be... I don't know how much I, I I think I need to be a little bit more of this. I think I need I think I think I need. Did you and you did you ever and did you ever and you never and did you ever so much that you could do anything? <laughs> oh man, yep, I have always liked that. Oh, All right, man. let's see. Wizards of Castle take off. I think we're about to start some new big boy things. We're not going to go to that arena. No. So. Snow store. We can go to the snow store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's check out the snow store. Because we you both got to get more piao shions. Oh, we're not on the... Wow. Dude, I... Ooh, oh, I'm just a little short. Kind of really what want whatever that thing boy. is. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's muy expensivo. Pazzo helps you find buried treasures. It's Doge. So this guy's Doge. Oh, look at you made it. Well, there's a bunny back there. Bunny, hello, bunny. I am cold. What did he say? I am cold, but somebody said like I am cold, but Let's see. I think I have to wait. Okay. This is a good game. This is the best part of the <laughs> place. Okay, man, I was wrong. I was hot hot enough for hot you? Oh, get you. get out of here. That guy. Get out. Eh, hold on. Hot enough for it's still. Um, we only accept, we only accept cold cash. cash. LOL. This guy, this guy okay, thinks well, he's funny. I think we've had enough. Yeah. I've had enough, I've had enough jokes. That's for sure. Uh, we, hey, you know what? You and me, we are some clean boys. Uh, and by that, I mean yeah, man, we did we're it. doing the thing. We we rescued a princess, and she liked me better, but it was only a coincidence. <laughs> she heard that you already have a beloved, and that's totally cool. It wasn't a personal thing. It was just everybody was trying to be respectful of everybody else. It was good. Yeah. I think I just made that uh, moment in video games very weird. Um, <laughs> welcome to a moment in video games. Hey, Patrick. When are we going to be back doing this? Hey, man, we're going to be back as soon as we can be doing some yeah. Castle Crashers to see how this game turns out. Yeah, and it's going to be tomorrow. Magic. Get it? Because, wink, uh, wink. Cause yeah, the, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Because Yeah, to, tomorrow, you'll see more tomorrow. But through yeah, the magic yeah. of television. This isn't a good joke. I, I, didn't, I didn't do a good job. Uh, Patrick, take us out.
Hey guys, we fought some icy people. We Peter and I actually didn't have any death times in these levels, and I feel like that means that we're getting better at this game. And Peter is just gonna chuckle, and that's gonna be the last out of here next time on B Plays. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good luck.